Hey, yo, I fishing trip? How close am I to the nearest lake? Like an hour? Hour and a half? Uh, Jeez. extreme, congrats on first. Win, congrats on second. And Steam, congrats on three. God damn I it. Go, I wanna go I'm fishing. Still damn it. My pizza. How dare getting you enjoy pizza, pizza during tomorrow. the stream? We're getting heart shaped oh. pizza tomorrow for Valentine's Day. Nice. Actually, I nice. ordered from, from them as well, Doc. Wait, Doc, no, you gave me a pizza for Valentine's Day? Hey, I didn't order the pizza at all. It was my stepdad. <laughs> oh. Idea. B, no, I'm not getting you a pizza. Damn it. I want more <laughs> pizza. If I had money, I would w gladly get food for you guys whenever you ask, but I just don't have that much that kind of cash yet. That's actually fair. It's okay. Also, Yeti, yes. Mikey, thank you for nutting in my ear. You're welcome. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> what is, what's going on? The nut redeem. Anyways, um, welcome in everyone to the next episode of Adventures in Ferris, episode 22. 22. God, been, is it 22 already? It is, and we also have to hydrate. You're not my dad. No. You're not my dad. I'm your mom. Actually, I do actually have some water here. Uh, um, <laughs> Sam, I, don't I don't think you can be my mother. I can be your mommy. Child oh. voice, you're not my mom. You're not my mom. <laughs> um, so you're all players, right? No. Doc, thank, thank you for nutting in my ear. I'm not a You're player, I just brush a lot. Wait, who are you? What? Whoever God said... Damn it, you guys. Who are you? So you said it last. You, who are you? I am Mordred. You're now Fox Reactive Road. Oh. Let's go. Foxy lady. Doc, go. I kind of deserve that. I am Doc. I am playing your funny barb, your bard, barb, barb, bard. Your barbarian. Your barbarian. Yes. yes. And for some reason, I'm thinking about Monster Hunter Wilds, so even though we literally have nothing. I'm thinking about it. I'm excited. Yes. Yeti. What's up? Go. Yeah. I am the Mindy Yeti. I am playing Urga in the Tour Farm Mug today. It's happened again. Mikey, go. Five G's. <laughs> you got halfway there. Hi, everyone. I'm Tom Keeper, aka Karen. And I play Caress, the Eric Hawker Druid. Let's go. Do you, though? Yes. Okay. I had to confirm. There's one left. Hey, there's still one more person. Oh. Whoops. I was eating. Cairo. Anyway. Hey, everybody. My name Kyra. is Green Toto. I play Arlos, the Hexblade Warlock, and I would like to iterate. Reiterate. English is hard. I'm not a player. I just crush it a lot. English there is a go. meme. A meme? Yeah, you're right. Steam, what the hell? Why did you shout me out? Because oh my gosh. <laughs> but it's my channel! And... Who cares? Get fucked. Uh, speaking of my channel. Loved on. <laughs> hi, I'm Sammy. I'm your DD VTubing god mommy. And. Well, VTRPG tubing, I guess. And I am your GM of the campaign. So. Speaking of the campaign, what the fuck happened? So what else want to do this week? I did the last two or three I weeks. have no idea. I'm gonna be completely honest. It was the second half of the cave. R yes. We did we the cave. We found a giant egg. We found a giant egg. Mm-hmm. We took it back to Ray. We did do that. We Ray found got... Big Egg. I gave it to Ray. <laughs> 
Yeah. Blanche the Ray, doghouse. Ray got kind of mad at Blanche. Can I offer you an egg at these trying times? Exactly. Damn it. Why didn't we say that? Ray accused Blanche of sleeping around. Uh, I think they have a... I think they're fine with it, though. I think that was kind of their relationship, but I do not recall. It was established, it was implied that Blanc used to sleep around. Oh, yeah, uh. used to. Oh, no. Papa was a rolling stone. Well, he was I rolling know. stones. Oh. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> Giga T. And, yeah. That's where we basically left off. With everyone back at the inn. And ready to fuck up their world. Let's go. So, what would the party like to do? Arlos would like to actually get into the game. That would be nice. Can you just put yourself in? I, uh, I forgot. <laughs> Good job. That ten, seems like a skill issue. Ten out of ten. I was eating pizza. It was so good. Where did you get the Where did you get the pizza from? This will This will incur my wrath or not? I don't care about your wrath. I was eating stuffed crust Papa John's pizza, bro. Ew. I never had Pop. I never oh, had Papa John's, but the but the stuffed crust is. You no, know, you're good there. I the stuffed crust is great. Papa John's I mean, is nasty. I like Papa John's. I mean, I've heard it's not that good. I enjoy Papa John's. It tastes like coffee. Yeti is a fit. Yeah. Yeti is a fit. I had ten Papa dollars. I had to spend them before they okay, expired. Okay, fair enough. I had ten Papa books. I haven't had Pizza Hut in a while, because the one we have here shut down. I'm, well, pizza has always just tasted like grease to me. Yeah, you know, but you know what? Fucking, I want to die. Give me that shit. <laughs> In game, in game, <laughs> in Minecraft, in Minecraft, Minecraft, who like Minecraft? In D &D. God, imagine a Minecraft server with the fucking in. That'd be insane. That would be crazy. Um, unless we already did that before and it didn't work out. Yeah. Well, shit happens. We should do happen. Back. happen. I mean, Especially I ha I have, have a bedrock people. server. Yeah. I have for later, I suppose. Half a giant tree there. Damn, I'm... who the fuck is this? Who's who? What? Who who's this over here on the right side of the map? On the right side of the map? Excuse me? <laughs> you mean Papa John? <laughs> hey, it's the Papa himself. Wait. Is this before or after the racism? Uh this is a different instance. Okay. This is Papa. New reality, Papa John. Yes, yeah, new reality, Papa John. Yeah, let's go. It, it is the new Papa John. Yeah. I gotta try a Papa John. Which I take at this moment is Shaquille O'Neal. No, is is John Gunther. Who? John Gunther's. No idea. Bartender well, extraordinaire. Oh. <laughs> In the land of Ferris. Um, Steam would like to know, where is Little Caesars? Little Caesars? Stabbed in the bag dead somewhere. <laughs> hey, he's not canon anymore. Did you know they make their sauce in a bucket on the floor? Yeah, but I mean, like, they got a huge tub, so it's fine. Maybe not on the floor, but in the bucket yeah. is fine. I have anyway. a lot of questions that I'm going to ask later. Did, did you not? Oh. I did not. I did not. I did not. I did not. I did not hit her. Oh, hi, John. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. What are we doing? 
God, I wish I could remember. I well, mean, you did just get well, back from a crazy. long day of adventuring. Yes. We. I thought we kind of. I thought we kind of rested. Or it was all right. Well, I guess we should rest. Yeah, that'll yeah. be good. Yeah, you can rest. Yay. Why do you sound so disappointed? I mean, because you guys missed the kitchen. <gasps> Food? It's, it's a little, it's a little, sea, it's a little Caesar, a big Caesar. <laughs> yeah, it's his son. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Caesar and Caesar Jr. You can't give Sam the opportunity to make jokes or puns. He's too good. Oh, oh, portrait. Uh, uh, do you actually? <laughs> you just write it again? <laughs> One sec. Oh, you were copy pasting. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. <laughs> no. <laughs> he was a one and done. Sam. Yeah. Let, let me tell you this real quick. Somebody just followed me named 69. This is her morning star. 66. 666. Got that too. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh. That's someone I know. Gotcha. Just make it. Just checking. Yep. I just thought it was really funny because we were just talking about the show Lucifer right before it. Yep. <laughs> That is slightly relevant. Look him in, just a seagull. Ah. Hey, seagull. Uh, this is what I was doing. There we go. Oh my god. I could not remember for the life of me. So. Hey, Sam. Yeah? Oh. Uh while they're going off to go to sleep, I think, can I get the letter I found in the ice cave to Ray to see if they know who that is? Uh, sure. You can head up to see Ray. Okay. Uh, just gonna drag everyone there. Oh my god. There. I like how it drags me there, too. That's just great. Hi! These two are just going to their rooms. Don't worry about it. They're also going to their rooms. Don't worry about it. Um, hello. Yes. Can I help you? Help you? Uh, yeah. Just a quick question. Do you yes. know anyone that has written this letter here? I found this in the ice cave. I meant to ask you about it beforehand, but it slipped my mind. Oh, this seems... I believe I have heard that name before. Hmm. I don't assume you know his whereabouts? Uh... Are they referring to the dead guy or the yes, in the, letter? the dead guy, the dead guy in the letter? Oh well, <laughs> the guy who wrote the letter. <laughs> yeah, he's currently freezing his skeletal ass off in the cave. Unfortunately, is where I found the letter. Ah, I see. <laughs> well, I'll see if I can track down this um, person he mentions. She must be worried. Might bring some. Bright, bring her some closure. Thanks, I appreciate it. No, thank you. And if you happen to uh, find them, tell them I'm sorry for their loss. Of course. Did you need anything else, Arlos? Uh, Solaire. No, Sol it. Sorry. <laughs> that, well, I, I translate in my head, don't worry. Yeah. That's a GM it's... mistake. That's They say Solaire. Well, that's everything. I'll be returning to my quarters now. Very nice. Have a good night. You as well. And you head.
head downstairs. Um. And into your rooms where you all rest. Except for Arlos, who does get like a little call from Solaire, beckoning him in. But we can deal with that later. Okay. So, who would like to go first? Arlos is last. Go first? Yeah, who would like to go first? In terms of your dream, what happens? All right, everybody, roll a dice. <laughs> roll a d20. Lois goes first. Lois goes first. Oh, I got a show, and that's not great. Roll d20. Well, <laughs> four. <laughs> 19. Oh, that's pretty safe. Nine. Okay, we have our order. It goes K, Doc, Yeti, Mordred, and then Crow. I, I, I realized I went from character names to first people names, but let's go. All right. So. K, you dropped off to bed. Snuggling in. Holding Charles closely. As you start to feel him get a little hairier. Which was kind of expected. But. As you... As you go, you drift off to sleep and you wake up, or you don't wake up, you find yourself in a dream on this big, expansive, windy plain. And oh, in front of you, and below you, you see that you're standing on what seems like a cloud. And in front of you stands Charles in his oh. base form. Charles doesn't seem to answer you as he just seems to be looking <clears throat> up and in this direction. Oh, you not this again. Okay, he looks up in the same direction. Okay. You look up and from the sight around you, you watch as the cloud that you're standing on is a form familiar to you because you've seen it before. Oh, fuck, man. You are standing on the Elder Tempest yet again as he stares at Charles and Charles stares back. Eyes glowing a bright blue hue. Thief. Then you leave him alone. <laughs> the other Tempest moves to look at you, turning his head as you watch his imposing gaze fall upon you, and you just hear in reply, Traitor. Traitor? I haven't done anything! You, folk of the wind, betray your plane. And you watch as little sparks start to form around you. Little embers start to dance and swirl around your body as if you yourself are emitting these small embers. What would you like to do? Okay, just kind of holds a hand out like toward the sparks. And then he looks back up at and he's like, are you calling me a traitor because I turned into a dragon? A fire dragon? You're is that what this is traitor, about? For you take the form 
The plane. You do not belong. What a bitch. And <laughs> as you stare daggers at the Elder Elemental, you feel a presence from behind you giving you warmth and support. As the embodiment of an elemental stands behind you, ready to assist. Kate's just having a moment. He's like, what is happening? Like existential dread just crawling up his spine. Do you look away from the other Tempest and look at the elemental? Yeah. He's like, what the fuck is happening? The elemental looks at you. Be not afraid. You have a fate much grander than you, this one would believe. If we are to save ourselves, we must join forces, not be sole contributors. Lies, they spout lies. So this is one of those types of situations. All right. What, what is going on? What would you like to do? Kay just looks be between the two of them and like rubs his temples and is like, so there's a situation. One of you's telling me that we have to work together. The other one's telling me I'm a traitor. What situation? The end comes soon. There is a force that threatens our realities. Your home, my home, the home of the other elementals. They lie. They seek the power to claim each plane for their own. They want what is ours. They speak of safety, but they know not of what they mean. This force that they say, it cannot harm the elders. It can't harm the elders, but if that's the case, can it harm the normal people? Because the normal people matter too, man. The elders don't understand. They see this force as little more than what, than something they can easily fend off. But I've seen what is to come. Husks of the planes. Husks of their bodies. Whittling away to dust. Ashes. Barren wastes. Where all life is consumed. What makes you think that my life can be consumed? You watch as the Elder Tempest starts crackling more and more electricity, storming throughout his entire body, nearly missing you and the Elemental, and kind of dancing along Charles's fur every now and then. Not seeming to bring him harm. No. My mind is blown right now. <laughs> I'm having a moment. What would you like to do? 
you do have the option of possibly stopping the dream, ending it now, if you so choose. Okay, just kind of like his shoulders slump a bit and his feathers ruffle. He looks between all, all three and then like kind of just steps a little closer to Charles. Mm -hmm. You're free to. And then looks at the other two and he goes, I don't know what's happening. Not. I don't understand what end you're talking about. I'll gladly help. Because, <laughs> let's be honest here. If you're a god, and you say you can't be devoured, you obviously can. Don't get too high and mighty. Because if it wasn't for the people of the airplane, you wouldn't fucking exist. Your religion would die off into non-existence. If working together is what we have to do, then so be it. You foolish mortal. You know not of what you speak. Enough! They have spoken. He has chosen. The fire elemental looks at you and gives you a nod. This will not be the end of this. And with that, your dream and your conviction slowly turn black as you fade into the rest of your night. And we go into the next dream. Which was Yeti, right? I think Doc was before me. Okay. It was me. I I, yeah. I do a forget. I'm sorry. You're good. It was, it was me. Okay. So. Akdad. You wake up to find yourself in a dark environment. Alone. It's just nowhere. But same time you are here now. And you feel some familiar feelings nearby. And to your left, you watch as a flame burns brightly nearby. And to your right, you hear the crackling of electricity sparking in a small ball. You know these. They feel familiar to you. Like part of you. But you feel more. There's something. Something you can't quite see. But you feel it. It's there. Staring. Watching. What do you do? Well, in Octod's mind, he's being watched. So what's he going to do? He's going to dance. He starts shaking his tail all around, starts dancing to entertain. Okay, roll me a performance check. Wahoo. You've danced pretty well. You think you feel like you're getting better since the day you walked across the log and celebrated. <laughs> and you feel as though your audience is also watching closely. Oh, this them some big eyes. You feel 
a large, imposing presence forcing itself upon you. I do not consent. I will, I will continue my dance. Roll me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, I'm not very good. Oh, that's not safe. I'm still not very good. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, no, not very good at this. Alright. You feel a wave of ferocity, envy, jealousy bearing down upon you. Bearing deep into your soul, into your very being. This thing, it despises you. It contradicts your existence. And it wants you gone. What a nerd. He doesn't know how good I am. How great I am. What a fool. That wisdom saving throw was to save from a fear effect. Oh. I could still call him a fool and be afraid of him. Yeah. But that's what you feel. A large power staring. You don't think it's near, either, but it's clawing its way to you, slowly, and it's coming. It will find you. I will be ready. And with your affirmation of your readiness, you fade into the rest of your dream, sleeping peacefully, calmly, for the rest of the night. Honk shoe, honk shoe. We then move over to Uragai, who is meditating within a space, just trying to reach out feel a familiar presence as you feel like you've been in a place like this before. Eric, guy? Yes? What would you like to do? Um... I would like to think back to uh, the power I obtained and ha what happened in order to get it, because I don't think it I don't think it fully sank in for me. Okay. You reach within yourself, looking for that power that awoke within you recently, remembering that the other Uragai, the one from the future seem to have helped you unlock this power and so trying to reach for him trying to summon him you watch as a large ring forms around you in a bright golden hue And as you look out across this ring, you watch as another appears beyond its boundary, not quite brightened as the one you're in, followed by another, and yet another. But the last one seems to shimmer a bright blue 
It would appear I have yet to reach my full potential. You feel a calming sensation wash over you. Almost as if an understanding was created. And you hear the whisper. Use this power well. Change your fate. I mean, it would help if I could ask what killed me in the first place, but I'm not sure that's an option. You feel and hear no reply. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Um... I will continue meditating in the space to see if I can attempt to push it outwards further. You... Roll me a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. Okay, you sit down within this circle and meditate, feeling the energy coursing through you and out along this circle. And you start to try and push out to see how far you can push this power. And for a moment, you succeed. It gets further and starts to fill the second ring. But, as you do, you feel the sensation of this power overwhelming you. Being more than you're able to handle, to contain within yourself. And that this ring sort of acts like a barrier. Both to keep you safe from overstraining the power you're newly given but also possibly from powers from without as well you find a sense of peace here but know that your job isn't done would appear I have some ways to go what would you like to do um I will continue to meditate. Okay. You continue to meditate, feeling how this power affects you. And you sit on that for the rest of the night. As your dream slowly fades into your peaceful meditations. And then we go over and visit Alina, who wakes up to find herself in a dark space, the floor, a clear water that is black as the rest of the space around you, with the exception of a fox chained away from you as you feel your chains again, away from it, pulling you away from it. The only sense that you can see are the ripples that you both leave within this water. What would you like to do? I will struggle against the chains. Okay. You struggle against them, trying to pull yourself closer towards the fox to see if you can make contact with it. But... Instead, you just feel a force pulling you back. Not quite pulling you away, but 
keeping you from moving. And as you pull and pull, you watch the ripples grow larger and larger until it almost seems like these ripples aren't yours, but like they belong to something else. Something actually much bigger than you. As you watch your ripples grow, you notice these large metal bars reaching high into the darkness and into the water below. And from behind the bars, you see that the origin of these larger ripples lies behind it. And as you look up to see the rest of the cage, you watch as a bright pair of red eyes stare back at you. And all you hear is a deep, rumbling growl. And the sense of hatred, anger, betrayal, want, desire, selfishness, envy, greed. All those and much, much more. What would you like to do? As we wait for a reply, I would like to attempt to inquire why it's doing this. You just hear a growl in reply. You're not sure if that's its response or if it simply cannot response. respond. Sorry. Something about this creature, this being, seems overpowering and you're not entirely sure why but you can feel like this might be a, either a part of you or something just inside of you festering waiting and is there anything else you'd like to do before your dream fades? As you watch the fox that sits chained across from you, quiver in fear, staring up at the reflection of these bright red eyes. I'll struggle once more but more intense than before, that instinct to protect kicking in. You just pull and pull against the chains, not making any headway, and just struggling. The sound of the chains pulling against something in the darkness, and you just sit there struggling, 
until either you give up or until your arms start to bleed. But even then, you still find conviction to keep going as your dream fades. And we move on to a call. Arlos, as you lie in bed awake, you feel the call of Solaire reaching out to you. Usually you feel them kind of nudging you in so that you can train in exchange for actually sleeping for one night. But this time, it feels a little more panicked, a little more urgent. Suppose we go see what he wants. That's not good. All right. You close your eyes and you let yourself drift as you step in to your arena that you've met him in quite a few times before. And he wants to stand across from you, clutching at his ch stomach, his chest, and just kind of hunching over, looking at you. It's about the time you made it. What in the hell is this going on? Oh, I don't know. I... Something is wrong. You must take control of you. And you watch as from his back sprout these sharp pointed tendrils that look quite solid and segmented as two uh, brace along the ground followed by another two and another and another as Solaire kind of falls over an empty husk crashing and smashing into dust along the wind and in his place you see a, the creature that remains a large imposing arachnid roll for initiative what the fuck man <laughs> If this is about the cave splice, uh, I'm pretty sure we can settle this overall point. You right. don't hear a response. <laughs> just angry chittering from this creature. Oh. As it, it's an eight. <laughs> oh, I'm on the wrong layer. That explains that. All right, you're up. What would you like to do? Mm, all right, I guess we'll keep things short and sweet, I guess. We will use Hexblade's Curse on it? Mm-hmm. You apply your Hexblade's Curse. We will move here. We will, I guess, attack with the braid sword. All right, roll for attack. That's a hit. Go ahead and roll for damage. Nice. And then we'll add the two afterwards. Twelve, so fourteen. Ooh. Is there anything uh, else you'd like to do? Yeah, I'm gonna use Thirsting Blade to go again. Oh, okay. Roll your second attack. Oof. That's a hit. Go 
all your damage. 14, making it 16, which brings you up to 30. Nice. Is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Uh, I guess I'd like to inspect the spider. Okay. Go ahead and roll a nature check. Uh, sure. Okay, you recognize this thing as a ruined spider. A spider that tends to spend its time within large ruins of unknown locations. A pretty tough fight for a single individual, but if you had a team, it'd be a little easier. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do? No. Nothing else I can do. Okay. It's then the spider's turn. It's going to look at you and it's going to reach out with its mandibles and take a couple bites at you. For the purpose of this, we can assume that your mage armor is already on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, does a 26 hit you? Oh, and undoubtedly. Okay. You take... Do, 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 do. Um, eight piercing damage and nine acid damage. So I took 17 in total? Yes. And it will try to bite at you again. Actually, no. Instead, it'll shoot its web towards you. With a 23. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah, you are restrained. And as an action, you can uh, make a strength saving throw to try bust out of it, or a strength check to try and bust out of it. Okay. Yeah. But until then, it is your turn. What would you like to do? You know, that's a really good question. Mm-hmm. Um... We're going to try to break free of the, uh, of the web. Alright, roll a strength check. Oh, beautiful. You free yourself from the webbing. Yeah. But that does take up your action. Fuck. Okay, uh, we use our bonus action to heal. Okay. Good. Second. Sounds good. Is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Cry because I got a five. Roll me a wisdom saving throw. These fucking wisdom saves, bro. <laughs> it's always the wisdom saves. It's not oh, my yeah. fault that you're bad at them. Not for, oh, it was almost a 20. You feel, you hear a, a voice from in your head. Wait, say, wait, wait. I'm going to use knowledge of a second life. Okay. But what's up? I know it's a past life. But, uh, really knowledge of a second life. <laughs> oh, never mind. It does not work for saving throws. It is only for uh, skills. Well, it's too bad that it's high enough already. Oh. You hear a voice inside your head echoing, 
sounding familiar to you, saying, this place is you. And you control this environment. Just will it, and it will appear. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, Arlos will attempt. Wait, are these dragons here? Like, can I see these? Uh, they are decoration that you put there in your head. Okay, fair enough. Well, Arlos will like to envision chains grabbing each limb of the spider to hold it down. Chains? <laughs> yes. Okay. Roll me a do, 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 do. charisma saving throw to impose your will on your dreamscape. Even my dreams don't want to listen to me. Oh my god! You reach out and you see nothing up here. You don't feel any connection with the environment around you. Hmm. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, hmm. I'll let you try and envision something once per turn. However, this okay. one will be a freebie because... You didn't get one last turn, technically. Okay. So that counts as my action, or...? Nope, it is a... Let's consider it a layer action. Cool. Okay. But I'm going to use this time to cast Blur on myself. I'm sorry? I'm going to cast Blur. I'm sorry, you used your action this turn to break from the web. Oh shit, you're right, never mind. That's it. I'm asking if you'd like to envision something else, because I'm as I'm giving you one free one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. You can envision other things. It doesn't have to be an object. You know what? I want to try the team attack with Mordred, so I'm gonna envision you Mordred. Okay. Oh, I mean Alina. Go ahead and roll a charisma saving check. Saving tech. Saving throw. I can English. Alright. You reach out, not feeling connection when you reach for the chains. But you consider something closer to your heart. And reaching deep within, you will. You force your will upon this area. And you bring forth a form that you are familiar with. Alina, you appear next to Arlos in front of this spider. Put yourself on the map and roll for initiative. Now, just as a warning, this is uh, a dreamscape version of you. This isn't actually you, Alina. This is Arlos's perception of you. You still have all your abilities and stuff, just your personality might be slightly different. It's up to you how you want to interpret that. And it'll be oh I'm I'm in the wrong there you are so it'll will fin that'll finish Arlos's turn and we will go to you Alina as you appear formed by the smoke around the area causing the area to glow and brighten as a new will has been forced upon it. (laughs) 
Hey, I said it's his perception of you, not what he wants to think of you. <laughs> it could be. It's up to your interpretation of that. I'm just saying, the way people see you isn't necessarily what they want from you. It's complicated. But anyways, what would you like to do for your turn? I will take a swing with my katana. All right. You step up with your katana and you slice down. Go ahead and roll an attack. That will hit. Also, yes, I changed the name to make it smaller. And that will deal the 28 da- Well, it's 28 either way. Damn. Okay, that'll deal the 28 damage to this creature. So proud. Is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? I can still move right. Yeah, you can still move. I will disengage if that works like I think it does so I can move back. Yep, you use your cunning action to disengage as your bo you use cunning action to disengage as a bonus action and you're able to move without provoking. Answer. Oh, uh Remember the sword attached the head plus I'll stop arrow here. thing that we were talking about? Is that actually viable or is that not viable? It is a thing you're able to do. Alright. <laughs> so that'll be Alina's turn. Arlos, you spent your turn summoning Alina. I just went to do her turn after yours, technically. But now it'll be the spider's turn. First things first. Ooh. Okay, the spider is going to go ahead and shoot web at you again. Does a 19 hit you? Sadly. And that will bring us to its attack. It'll try and bite you, and because you are restrained, it has advantage. Oh, no. Does a 15 hit you? Oh, uh, it does not. All right. That is the spider's turn. We go back to Alina. What would you like to do? Also, if you want to do your team attack, uh, Alina would have to ready an action to fire the bow. Uh, ah, th thank you for the resub, Coldest. Uh, you'd have to ready an action to fire the bow. 11 months, damn. Uh, when Arlos 
puts the sword on your head and gives you his power. If you want to do that. I will get down on one knee preparing said bow and end my turn. Okay. That'll... You prepare an action to go ahead and do that. You end your turn and Arlos, you're up. Okay. Because um, bracing myself for the power. I'm going to envision the the webs being pried off. Okay. Go ahead and roll a charisma saving throw. Well, that didn't work. You watch as the webs start to melt away and thin, but they don't completely disappear from you. But you feel like they might be easier to break out of. Okay, I can see that. Um, question. Mm -hmm. If I were to Misty Step, would that get them off of me, or... Yes, would that would. Them? That would get rid of them. Okay, I'm going to bonus step... Yeah, bonus step. Bonus, bonus action, step, misty, misty action. <laughs> <laughs> and misty step towards Elena. All right. You successfully misty step your way out of the, I was going to say ice, the webs, and away from the spider. What would you like yeah, to I'm do? Going, I would like to use my action to... Do our combo attack with me giving Alina power. Okay. You place your sword on Alina's head and flow your energy into Alina as you watch her bow grow larger and larger. And when she releases, the energy you both share shatters into a million arrows as it pierces this spider. How many hit points do both of you have? I have 28 currently. 28? Yeah. 28! Alright, you both have 28. So that'll be 56. So this is going to crit because it's above 30. And it's close to 60, but it's not 60 unfortunately so you'll get 50 no it's actually 55 because it's by fives so you'll get 11 additional arrows on top of this <laughs> as both of your hit points go into these arrows and fly off to attack this spider go ahead and roll 11 times 2 is 22 plus the 1 23 no, it's, tw it's two more. 24 D6 in radiant damage. Actually, roll that again because it's crit. Okay. Arlos, as Alina l lets go of the, the arrow, you watch as her body fades into smoke and joins the rest of the clouds around you. And you feel your vitality just slip away and you fall back as you watch these arrows dig into the spider and burst into a bright, colorful light. By the time you come to, the spider is gone. Um, so Lars nowhere to be seen, but you do see... Uh, I'm just going to draw this because I could not find an equivalent for this. You do see a weird green goopy egg. Oh. Left in the lovely. spider's place. More eggs. Somebody's gonna have a good breakfast. <laughs> I will grab the egg. You grab the egg. It kind of sticks to the ground. I'm going to need an athletics check for you to pry it out. 
since it's also kind of heavy. Booyah. All right. You successfully pick up the egg, and it feels ex pretty heavy to you, and it, it's very warm. In fact, it's almost melting away a little bit as in your arms the egg melts away and reveals a goopy unconscious yet very alive and naked Solaire what the devil as he's lays unconscious in your arms. My baby boy, what happened to you? And naked. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't how we were made, right? Please tell me this isn't how we were made. He's currently unconscious. You can try and wake him. Or I would be impose your will to wake him. Seems awfully rude, but sure, why not? I said you could. You didn't. Ha you don't have to. Arise! Well, I'm gonna that. Why? What happened? Well, we must be the same person because I was gonna ask you the same goddamn question. I solely remember feeling pain. Why am I covered? Oh. Are we? Are you okay? I'm PG. Are you okay? You just went through a whole cycle. I thought I lost you forever. What the fuck was that? I feel <laughs> renewed. I feel a new sensation. We might have gotten stronger. Uh, okay. That's all jolly and good. Where'd the spider come from? I'm not sure. You fought spiders recently, right? Yeah, one gave me quite a, quite a jump scare, yeah. Hmm. I wonder if you're sp If you're sp well if I'm adapting to your encounters. Please tell me you're not going to become a spider. You watch as he summons <laughs> his sword, a copy of yours, and summons some energy into it, and you watch as small glimmers of liquid uh, green just um, slowly makes its way down the blade coating it in its entirety this may be useful uh, is that acid? I believe it is <laughs> oh that cold one is cooked <laughs> <laughs> yes, I bet he is. <laughs> well, um, thank you for, well, saving you. This is going to get a lot weirder, isn't this it? This is going to be very confusing. Okay. <laughs> well, no problem, me. I hope we can have more great talks like this. <laughs> Same. I just hope our training sessions don't get... Interrupted as often. I mean, it's not all bad, you know? Next time we can envision it to be pretty ladies or something. Actually, no, I don't fare well with calling women, so that doesn't really hold well for me. I mean, <laughs> you could impose them to not fight us. Huh, you're smart. I liked it. Anyway, is there anything else you need from me? Well, 
I have some clothes. Don't... I can... You can summon... Next time you come back, I'll have clothes. Thank you. Then again... As much as I... We do have quite the form. Wow, so we had to work hard for this. Oh, you know it. Well, I guess I should go back and uh, see how Zell's doing. Make sure that they're sleeping good. Good night. Take care of her. Him. That. Well, you were right. Uh, I mean. Take care of her. Yes. <laughs> take care of her. And you fade out of your dream as you will your eyes open and you awaken in your room fresh and renewed and a little stronger than before I also think to himself no more bloody spiders and you all wake up after your nights you slept peacefully for the rest of it whether or not you dream for the rest of it is up to you, but it's not as well remembered as what you went through. So, what would you like to do now? I like to think Kay jerks awake and is like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> but doesn't remember anything, he just knows that he's terrified. Mm -hmm. I'll All right, is dancing in sleep again. I, I want I want to calmly wake up and walk down to the uh, lobby area where I would normally be. Off to make tea. Yes, I'm ma I'm making I'm making the tea. Oh, you're making the tea. Yeah, I'm making the tea. Okay, you're making the tea. Got it. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me, Ura guy. Are you making drug tea? I think no, that's what I'm, she's I'm, trying to ask. No, no I'm <laughs> making. I, I'm making the tea. Got it. You're making the tea. That's the tea, folks. <laughs> Drinks. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, you make some tea for everyone. Including the children. Yes. Okay. There's no drugs in this tea, right? <laughs> We're all suspicious of a guy trying to make <laughs> drugged tea. <laughs> why, why are you assuming I'm drugging the tea out of all the times? It's because I make... you're not saying tea. You're not saying... You're not making some tea, you're making the tea. You keep saying the tea. Yeah. I was asking you if you're making the tea. Yeah, I'm making the tea. What do you mean? I don't understand. Not the tea. I just the tea. Me. You gotta be doing this on purpose. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The special tea. Yeah, that... Any of that meme I sent you the other day could be, is very applicable here. What meme? Which one? <laughs> the, the the one of Iroh. Oh. I'm gonna have to look at it again because I completely forgot the line. Uh. Anyways, Uragai makes some tea. Some tea, not the tea, some tea. What do the rest of you like to do? Iroh's will use press the digitation on some of the patch that he's rolled up. Can <laughs> you use press digitation on it? Are you yeah, I rolled up a little. Are you, did you roll up blood? Yeah. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you smoke some pesh. I, I want to offer Arlo some tea. Arlo will gladly accept it. Uh, roll a constitution saving throw. Oh, uh, yeah, baby. All right. You don't get, like, blitzed out of your mind. You have a, a nice time. A nice, chill time. 
I will what proceed to offer the others tea. It, it takes the edge off. And yeah, Uragai goes around and offers the rest of you tea. Don't watch damn tea. I had another weird dream again. Oh, it's not tea. It's uh, E. Or what the hell was the uh... Would you like some E? C. Would you like some C? Would you like hmm. some C? Is it high? No, nice no high C. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, oh, it's I, I, I got it. I'm I was offering the dialogue. <laughs> oh, I was, I was saying I'm offering Octod C. I was letting the, oct the, the dialogue flow, but I did get your joke. Yeah. What? Octod is suspicious. This sounds suspiciously like tea. Tea. It's much Oct better. Octod will try the sea. Sea for cranberries. Um. <laughs> roll a yeah, perception check, Octod. Sea for cranberries. I got. I. I picked up what you were. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty good. Almost a 16. It's pretty good. It could be made better. Worse in your opinion. Uh, or worse in everyone else's opinion. But, you know, it, it's it's getting closer to Cobalt quality. Control? Yeah, this, this, is, this is middling. KQC, Cobalt quality control. <laughs> <laughs> I love... <laughs> That's who Penny works for. The KQC. <laughs> 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 no. I, I thought she was a traveling merchant. She is. She is. She's part of the Cobalt Quality Control. <laughs> uh oh. I, I will proceed <laughs> to offer. I'll proceed to offer it to the rest of the party. I will drink. Hey, yeah. Hey, just like jumps a bit, and like because he had zoned out, and he's like holding Charles on his lap, and he's like. I like to think Charles is like, Dad? What the fuck are you doing? Charles <laughs> is, um... Get your mouth, young man! Charles is growing a lot hairier, and he is a little bigger now. You can tell the potion's starting to wear off. They grow up so fast. Be cursing at his father like that! Dad? It doesn't have... Oh, wait, yes. Am... Am I gonna be able to talk again? Oh. Yeah, we'll make sure you can. We need to get another potion. Okay. If only they told us how to make this thing! I... I'd like to stay like this we'll if I can. Food. We'll do what we can to keep you like this. Thank you. And he hugs you. Oh. <laughs> okay, hugs him back and, like, does the bird thing where he, like, nuzzles the top of his head and, like, preens his hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Find Kodak moment. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, Sam, I sent you something. Rolling all the so fucking hungry right now. <laughs> um... I just, I, I just ate pancakes. Baby! Day! I had food, but I just still hungry. I don't know exactly what you're referring to. Someone else had pancakes on pancake day? I no. wish I had pancakes on pancake day. Pancakes. I haven't had pancakes in years. That, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's been a what? minute for me. My, I think the last time I had someone was one of my ex-mates. Hey, Octod, could you do me a favor? Hmm. Could you run me a con save? Sure. Why? Alina, K, could I also get the same thing? A con save? Yep, constitution saving throw. Damn, a lot, of, a lot of nines today on my end. Well then, this is a predicament. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure whatever it is, it's not fatal. <laughs> Bird down, bird down. Alina, I also Artemis need a constitution stress. saving throw. <laughs> oh no, Black Hawk down. I mean, I, I, I didn't exclusively give it to um, K, 
Kay, uh, Arlo, Selena, and I thought I'd give it to everybody as well. Even the kids? You're not one. Yeah. He gave everyone drugs. Is that two ones? That is two ones. Okay. I Did you give it to Penny as well? Uh, no. Okay. Panthers? <laughs> Wait, do I have to roll this too? Because I did drink the tea. Sure, go ahead and roll me another constitution theory throw. Oh, wait. Is it poison? Oh, beautiful. No, you're good. I'm pretty sure it's just drugged. I'm already drugged. This is what, what would they do for me? Oh, I would be fine. That's a nat 2. That's a nat 4. And finally, that's a nat 2. Okay. <laughs> the kids are fucked up. So, the kids are high as shit right now. <laughs> K. As you're hugging Charles, you close your eyes and just nuzzle him, and it's kind of hard to open up your eyes. You don't really want to open it because you're feeling pretty nice. You just kind of lay back with him as his eyes are also closed, <laughs> and you're just kind of vibing. Alina, you kind of take the seat up next to, like, up from where uh, Joy is, and you will kind of just... Lay on the table a little bit, just kind of enjoying the time you're existing together. <laughs> um, Arlos, you watch as Zell is kind of like seemingly napping against you, still standing, still cognizant, kind of, but um, he's he's. Like, not all there. Some damn good tea. What the fuck did you ruin? And Octod? <laughs> Octod, you feel a little more chill. Things seem a little calmer. Not as hectic. It's pretty nice. It's pretty chill. What the fuck did you put in the, what the, fuck did you put in the sea? And, and Fenthers is like, oh. Nice. <laughs> it's just chilling with uh, you and Arlos, or you and Octad Arlos. I, I'll, 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 I'll simply say the special blend, <laughs> special tea, if you will. Uh, Arlos, you recognize the taste in a weird, different kind of way. Tastes like what I just did upstairs. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry Be about happy. it. <laughs> Wait a minute, you gave this to the children. You did what? And You're fine. <laughs> you? kind of slurs and is like, what? <laughs> it is the first time. The turtle sensei is getting attention from the whole party. Like everyone noticed what he did this time. <laughs> <laughs> you gave my kids a what? <laughs> okay, I see what's going on. Um, Penny's gonna go ahead. She sits you down, Octad. Uh, she, she walks over to Alina, uh, and just like I'm just gonna take care of this one. Uh, you lift your f head up. You don't look at her, but you're facing her. And just like that little bit of face that's uh, like exposed to the table is kind of red and smudged. You have no idea how Joy's face is going to look at the end of this, but uh, yep, that's what's happening. Uh, uh, Pe Penny also goes over to UK and just make sure you're, you and Charles are seated comfortably. It's nice. Uh, no, Bob's good. Isaac, you're in air jail. He's always in air jail. <laughs> Do you need some help? Um, I think I got it. Uh, do maybe make sure that uh, the little one over there is fine. He can go crazy even without this. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. I, I don't think he's um, 
quite as affected as the rest of them are. You seem to be doing Ooh. all right yourself. Uh, also, how many nat ones were there with that with that one? Two, and there was also two nat twos as well. <laughs> <laughs> Charles and Zell got nat twos. Oh my god! Joy oh got a god. nat four. Joy got a nat four. So All right, so um, <laughs> Alina and Kay, you two are going to be out of the commission for the next two to three in-game hours. Damn. I like to think Kay's never done this before, so that's why he's so <laughs> fucked up. As the druid, that is surprising. <laughs> yeah. gotta... he, he's from the elemental plane of air. Oh, There's not as yeah. much grass there. Fair enough. Um, Fentis also seems to be bird. doing all right. That bird got some crazy seed. No, for real. We just got K clean. Hey, Akdad. Just got K clean, damn it! <sighs> You're gonna be all right, right? Who's talking to me? Is that Fentis talking That's to me? That's and Fentis, yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm making sure you're gonna be alright. I, I like to imagine it was Oxford asking who was talking to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah Fenthers <laughs> answered! <laughs> Fenthers answered! I mean, I'm always alright. Did you plan to do anything today? Did I? <laughs> no. I'm not you. I didn't plan anything. Okay. I guess we can just chill. So, what were you doing recently? Penny. <laughs> 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 nice. <laughs> but I know that already. I mean, like, other things. Not kobolds. Well, that's exclusive right now. No, I mean, like, what other things were you up to? Not, like, doing, doing, but, like, what were we doing? Uh... Anyways, as we go over to um, Arlos, Penny kind of just walks towards Octa and just kind of sits by. Sits in his lap. She sits in his lap. Uh, just looks Ar like a penny. <laughs> Arlos, Uragai, what would you like to do? I would like to pick Zell up and hold them in my arms to make sure they're comfy. Mm -hmm. I I will look at Arlos and ask him if he wants another cup. Who, me? Sure, I'll take another cup. Next time, though, do refrain from giving this to the the younger crowd. Um, <laughs> roll another Constitution saving throw. This one's gonna be harder. Oh, fuck. My cat just scared me. I'm laying, leaning back in my chair and I just felt something on the back of my neck. It's just whiskers because he wants me to pet him. Meow. 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 You scared me. Usually he'll like rub his whole face against the back of my neck, but sometimes he'll just like slightly touch me with his, with his face. So, Arlos, you finished the cup about 10 minutes ago, you think? You're still holding it. Oh, wait, that was 10 minutes ago. Hold on. Oh, time is not moving steadily for us. For you. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it feels like time's skipping. Time's but you, skipping? Oh. But you know you did the stuff in between the time. You just don't feel like where you are now isn't what you were doing a second ago? Uh, <laughs> we're all fucked up. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, I was... I was Ro going to tell you something, but I forgot. Roll the wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, no! no! The Yeti completely ignored us at the beginning and actually did drug us all. Oh, you remember. Um, it was the thing. 
With the thing. With, With the thing. thing. Uh, no, but you do remember. It takes oh, half an hour, uh, but you remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, weren't we supposed to get clothes for everyone? Did we ever check in on those? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll say, I'll, uh, go fetch them. And I'll, I'll walk to get clothes <laughs> while everybody else is having the time, the time of their lives. It has been four days. Oh, fuck my wristwatch. All I gotta talk about is wedding band. Oh, fuck my wristwatch? <laughs> is that what you just said? Yeah. Oh, fuck, it stops. It stops uh, ticking. Arlos, at the sound of jewelry, you remember that oh, you it. got a ruby. All right. I forgot about oh, this. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I didn't. Ah. Um. I'm going to ask. Penny, very slow. Uh, actually, how how's Zell's condition right now? Just just still damn near comatose. Ah, uh, <laughs> almost. As, he's almost asleep. He's responsive <laughs> enough. Okay. So, would you care to go to the jewelry store with me to go see what this magic gem is? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so fucked up. <laughs> I am so happy that Sam remembered. No. We had this conversation like days ago. That's why I was asking, is it the tea? You could you could have messaged me instead of announcing it to the party. I it doesn't matter. It's like whoever knows what the team is, is like, oh I know what this is, or it's like whoever do doesn't know what it is like the fuck do we mean? What did they do to this tea? I, I think the only one who only ones who knew was me, you, and Mordred. Exactly. That's why everyone else would be like, I don't fucking know. I mean like. As soon as I heard the oh, tea, well, I knew it was drunk tea, but I, you know, Octod. Yeah. Didn't yeah. Know that. There's an in character and out of character thing. Yeah. Anyways. Arlos, uh, what would you like to do with the 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 ring? The ruby. <laughs> the ring to rule them all. Uh, <laughs> the one wing to rule uh, them all. I, got one. I would like to go to town with Uruguay and go to the clothing shop and then make a pit stop at the jewelry store. Mm -hmm. Um, Uruguay, you do know it is a little early for it. He might have some of the clothes ready, but for the most part, it is still, like, three days away-ish. But you can find a jewelry store if you're so inclined. Uh. Yeah. Alright. So, uh, so Sam, do I have how many attunement slots do I have left? Now that I think about it, do those two items count as attunement slots or no? Um, if they are attunement slots, they should be in your inventory. I believe one of them is. I might have yeah. checked it off for you already. Yeah, I see it. I, I was just making sure. Yep. All right. So, you both head up to the jewelry store. And I forget what I called it, but I know the guy that was in there. Oh, hello. How are y'all doing doing today? <laughs> Arlos will chuckle at her accent. <laughs> you gotta remember, he, he's fucked up right now. Uh, yeah, uh... I happened to come across this, uh, here, uh... Gem? Well, I was in a cave earlier. Um, could you tell me what it is and what it does? Uh, sure. Y'all all right, Mike? <laughs> he kind of looks you over a little bit, making sure you're, you're here with us. <laughs> I went to offer the jewelry shop owner some tea. No! A <laughs> roll of persuasion <laughs> check. Don't do it. 
I I want to do it, but at the same time, I roll don't. a persuasion <laughs> check. I, I, I'm the shopkeep. I'd be very suspicious because I just asked this dude if he was okay, and then the dude next to him asked offers me tea. And after I asked that question, I'd be suspicious as hell. That's why I'm asking for a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> oh sure, mate. I'm always up for a good drink. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. Oh, I think I tasted this before. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is my favorite shit right here. Oh, thank God, because I definitely need this guy to know what he's talking about. Ah, don't <laughs> worry, I do this all the time. Oh, I'm nice. starting to think that uh, Uruguay is a former drug lord. <laughs> former? Nah, nah, nah. This is a new kid on the block. How did he hear me from so far away? <laughs> the oh, I'm shit you right. Time. What kind of shit do you put in this here? <laughs> I'm hearing things up from all over the place. Oi, how are you doing? Eh, I'm pretty good. Nice. You hear God too. Wait, how did he hear me? Well, well uh, I, I don't know how it's gonna happen, but uh, you were interested in this uh, uh, Ruby, right? Yeah, yeah, the thing that's about as red as your eyes right about now. Nah, nice. Uh, <laughs> all right. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, oh, I think you you got here a fire ruby. Well, this is a nice find right here. Did somebody say fire! Fire! <laughs> Apparently, this drug comes with telecommunication. <laughs> Quiet down back there. Wait, what? Where am I speaking to? Oh, right, you. Uh, yeah, this is a fire ruby. If you want, I can put it into a magical amulet and make some. Make, give you something to use during uh, combat. Should be oh, able sorry. to cast some flames or something. I have a, a bit of funny side information for you guys. Uh, Urugai doesn't know what this is, he assumed it's a tea ingredient. Oh my god! Dude! <laughs> Not only did you drug us, you drugged us unknowingly, you drugged us. <laughs> Ruby! Oh god! <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking hungry. You roofied everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are, Octad. <laughs> the munchies have said it! The munchies have said it! Oh. <laughs> you know, I actually don't get the munchies. Uh, anyways. Is it pancake? Is a pancake day in the D and D world? Again. Yes. Pancakes. Papa Yay. John. Papa John is offering everyone one free pancake for the day, and a discount Ooh. on any others ordered. But only if you hop. Only if you hop. If you hop. <laughs> if you hop, not him. Why would he hop? No, it's you. You gotta hop. Yeah, you hop. You hop. I hop. We hop. Everybody hops. Yeah. Is there any more hops I need to know about Pokemon? Uh, she hop. Uh, oh yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, I can put this into a nice amulet and uh, give it right to you. Ooh. Oh, sounds really si I, I know it's probably been mentioned before, but this sounds really similar to Pokemon music. Uh, uh, you're right. Mm. It does. Are you you hear music, don't you? <laughs> I hear this stuff all the time. Are you okay? Ah, uh, mostly. You know what? I get you on that one. Sometimes I swear I hear the voice of God, but I don't know where it's coming from. You do hear the voice of God. What the fuck? <laughs> there it is again! <laughs> hey, Urukai, did you also drink the tea? No. Okay. So you drank the tea and just gave it to everyone else. Yes. You it off on when us. you drink what you <laughs> give us. It was poisoned! Technically, yes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Does Pesh count as poisoning? Kind of. Do, do, do drugs count as a poison? I, I, mean, I mean... Also, I, I do I know, know that... Managing diseases and being poisoned. I do know that I could have 100% used this, 
to like help us at later down the line, like for example, getting into places mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Instead, I used it to be funny, and I'm enjoying it a lot more. It is funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, listen, comedy is sporadic. You gotta use it at the right times. Exactly. At the correct time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what uh, you'd like for me to do that for you? Uh, sure. How much would that cost? Uh, roll me a, two persuasion checks. Uh, with a, a persuasion check with advantage, please. What's the, what the fuck's the persuasion? I'm not sure. I kind of just wanted to say that. Also, you feel like this character's accent has changed like three times. I'm yeah. trying to remember what an Australian so accent sounds like, and it also I like keep Johnny Bravo for a second too. Mixing it for uh, unfortunately. Uh, twenty four. Johnny Bravo. I can do this for you within, like, say, 50 gold. Wow, 50 gold? Oh, this is a jewelry shop. And this is what a magic... What we make it? Let's we'll make it 30. 30? Uh, you drive a hard bargain. Uh, 30 it is. Well, yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. <laughs> I'll have it done for you within like an hour. Well, nice. Feel free to pick okay. it up whenever. Appreciate it. Flashbacks to the shop. <laughs> Did you already know, dude? <laughs> Call this. Thank you for the gift sub. Oh my God, Sam. Do you know what your accent reminds me of right now? For uh, this guy. The Wiggles. No, one of the the, the vultures from Jungle Book. <laughs> Yes, I definitely one. remember that one. <laughs> I just randomly thought about those stupid okay. birds. Okay, I've watched two Jungle Book movies. The animated one from the Disney. I watched the Jungle Book 2, the animated one, and I watched the first live-action Jungle Book. Oh, oh, no. Which live-action Jungle Book? The one from the 90s. Oh, oh gotcha. Okay, that one's okay. Okay, because I thought we were talking about the really dark one. No. No, no it's the one where the kid the pees did. on the dudes. Okay, so it, it's... It, it's not the one with the wolf. No. No, gotcha. Anyways. But, yeah, that's... Anything else I can interest you in? Maybe you, Turtle Man? Do you like rolling dice? Sure, I do enjoy playing the little game. Yeah, it's a, it's a high roll for about 15 gold. Aha, uh -huh, high roll. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I will say, uh, yes, I'm looking for uh, something to make me a bit more uh, defensive. Defensive? If you have anything enchanted, that is. Ah, uh, I got some fancy braces. I believe they have braces of defense. Ooh, there you go. Ooh. Uh, They'll cost a pretty penny, unfortunately. But uh, uh, I do have them in stock. Uh, about how much would you think they would be? Uh, they're going to run you about... Run, roll me persuasion check at advantage. <laughs> and the tea's coming in handy. <laughs> That's what the advantage is for? <laughs> yeah. Well, at least the tea wasn't just used for comedy. It's getting it's getting some feels out of it, at least. With advantage. Alright, I'm just having a bit of trouble because for some reason my uh, my web browser is lagging to no end. Oh no. Why can't we be friends? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't help but part with it for 1200 gold. Of hundred gold? Holy. It's a very powerful magic item. Valid. I mean Would you care to roll for them. It's roughly the same price as what a uh, <laughs> uh it's roughly the price of a bag of holding. They're roughly on the Can same I... level. Oh bag of holding, you say. Can I try and talk him down? 
I mean, sure, you can certainly try. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna roll persuasion. This is for Turtle Sensei. Yeah, roll a persuasion. Not an advantage. Ow. But roll a persuasion. Oh, hold on, hold okay, on. that's fine. And what would you like to say to convince him? Well, you know, considering the fact that you still have these here, they don't seem to be a high commodity item, right? And an item's worth only as much as you're willing to actually get for it. If you just have them leave, staying on the shelves, it'll be worth nothing. Because no one's paying. I feel like your train of thought is too fluid here for how high you're supposed to be. I'm sorry. I, I, I kind of passed out after the first couple words, but uh, I believe you're a cool man. Uh, all right. How, how's uh, 750? That I can do. Yeah, All right, cool. Looks like we got a deal. <clears throat> Is that what we are after here? Yes. All right. Can so... I inspect his outfit? <laughs> what is he wearing? <laughs> sure. He's wearing a nice uh, leather vest with some nice, nice purple t-shirt underneath. Uh, a nice long sleeve shirt, actually. And that's rolled up to be short sleeved. Uh, you're not exactly sure what he's wearing in terms of pants since he's behind the counter, but uh, he seems pretty uh, all right there. Pretty nicely dressed, very formal. Mm -hmm, very formal, huh? Yeah. Can I see your shoes, good sir? My shoes? <laughs> now, why would you want to see my shoes? I just want to admire them, you know, maybe maybe buy them off of you. You're not going to need them, right? You're uh, behind the counter. I'm not selling my shoes, but I can show them to you. <laughs> he, he reaches down and pulls one off and just puts it on the counter. It's a nice black dress shoe, kind of like your Sunday vest. Ooh. Now, hear me out, hear me out, right? You don't need the shoes, right? You're I, behind the counter all day. Who's going to see them, right? I don't use, you want them to shine somewhere? I use them to walk home. And they got to look presentable. Home. Yes, I got oh, shoes. Yeah. I don't sleep in the shop. <laughs> what do you think I am? Some sort of bloody animal? I say, oh, what was the name oh, of the bloody animals at the end of the day. I'm sorry? What was the name of the item again? Bracers of Defense. Um, what were you saying, Arliss? Uh... I don't remember. Okay, I'm going to have him inspect the dwarf boots that I got. The dwarf boots? Yeah. Alright, let's see what we got here. I'm not really one for, like, clothing in that matter. I'm, I'm more of a, you know, jewelry shop. Oh, um, clearly these look cool to you, right? I mean, they do seem a little magical. Oh, well, I'm not sure so what they got. Tell me what they do. I can't myself, no. Oh, can you point me in a direction someone who might? Uh, oh, I forget his name, unfortunately, but there's a person here running a haberdashery. Kind of uh, near the beginning of town. Charming elf fella. Uh, Hello. I think we've run into them. We've run into them, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I just forget his name. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I, I guess I'll be going then. Tell Sunset, is there anything else you need? Uh, I think his name's Hubert or something. Uh. uh no, that. That is all. Alright. Pleasure doing business with you. Have a good day. You too. Yeah, I I'll will. I'll be back for that later. I will. He sips his tea a little more. So it does require tuning. Uh, am I able to do that on the spot or do I have to wait till a certain time? Um, it says attunement, right? Yes. Okay. I mean... I don't really have anything else planned for this day in the campaign, so you can just mark it off as a tune, uh, because it'll just take a short rest to do it. Yeah. But, like, technically it's not being used until it takes effect. Until you do a short rest or whatever. Uh... 
Alina, it deactivates in the shot in the in the place because you know there's a telepathy field. <laughs> okay, okay. So, Ergay and Ergay and Arlis, what would you like Ergay? to do? <laughs> Shush. <laughs> I had to act like I was high for like. I don't know, 10 minutes? We're not 5Gs, this drug. You know this what? This drug should be called 5Gs. You know what? We should take you our, like, 5G, 5G break. Please. Yeah. yeah. I hunger. Yeah, we'll be back in, like, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 15. We'll be back in time. Thank God. Yeah, see y'all soon. Just hang in there. Bye.
had chicken nuggets the other night and made me sick. Damn, you got chicken nuggets? I didn't get chicken nuggets. This is what happens when you eat your kind too much. I got a rock. Yeah. Thanks, Sylveon. <laughs> you got a rock? <laughs> Y'all got rocks? Your mom lets you have two rocks? I got turkey dinosaurs. Nice. <laughs> Technically true. <laughs> Technically correct. It's, it's correct for several reasons. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back. I hope everyone oh. had a good break. Okay, don't. Don't welcome back. Fine. Fuck off. Uh, <laughs> hope you all didn't have a good break. I mean, I have cookies. But I don't Damn, that's a I good break. Not, Couldn't I be did me. not go to Wawa, but I might go there later. Mm, they're open 24-7. That's, that's the beauty of it, and they have a decent menu at all times. Mm -hmm. Wawa sponsored me. Wow, well, be a hell of a sponsorship. Yeah, I'd be all about that. Represent. So, oh, yeah. Arlos, you're a guy. <laughs> You're walking down the street, coming back from the jewelry shop. Making our way downtown? Making your way downtown. Walking fast. Faces past your homebound. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> and you're singing along the way. <laughs> to a song. You're so high, you're singing a song that doesn't exist in your reality. Oh, exactly. Mordred, thank you for nodding in my ear. Um, but yeah, what would you like to do as Arlos? You can start to feel the effects of the pesh slowly wear off. Now I could, I could roll another one and enjoy my day. I could do that. But I feel as though that will be a little irresponsible. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> do it anyway. <laughs> So you roll up another blunt and you smoke it. Roll me a con saving throw. Oh shit. Hold on, that was at advantage, I'm sorry. Oh, beautiful. You feel fine, it's alright, you just go down the block and you're chilling out with your kid and this turtle on your side. I, I that, forgot I had so. Is that Full Metal oh, Alchemist or am I misremembering? It does sound similar, but I don't think it's Full Metal. It almost sounds like one of the Pokemon themes, but I can't, I couldn't tell you which one. Helsing. Uh, well, it's been a while since I've heard that one. Ultimate. It still uh, doesn't. A bridge. It's been a while since I've heard it. Oh, yeah, okay. Now I know what's seen exactly. <laughs> Does not uh, go past my notice that uh, Penny's currently on top of me. So you two are just walking down the street. <laughs> Is that the Arthur theme song? Penny sits on Octod's lap, and she's really enjoying herself. And I said, ooh. <laughs> Ooh-ah. In the right circumstances, Penny might be saying ooh, too. Hi, how are you? Everyone went quiet. I think we lost Sammy. I'm trying to Sammy. think of a song. Oh. It's kind of hard to sing a new song. Oops. <laughs> That's how you beat the timer, just stay quiet for five minutes. So, Lock Dad, you're starting to feel it or lighter now. You have a little cobalt sitting on your lap for how. She's holding a child, and the Fentress is cool. They're hanging out with you, and they're shooting the shit. 
Oh, I recognize that shanty. Our god is just chilling. He will rub Penny's back. Because he's still high, it's gonna be like extra gentle. I think you're so kind to me. I hope you, I hope you know that well. That comes from Ocean Three. No. Okay, thank God. It did sound a little bit like Jack Black. I think we'll have a kid real soon. We'll just, we'll have to go. I wasn't expecting to be a mom so damn soon. But I guess if this will happen, I'm glad that it's with you. Octa just looks looks at her. Oops. If you're gone, nah, need me at any time. I'll be in the city known as Yelly down the line. I damn, will... Penny got rhythms. Mm -hmm. She gotta, you know, entertain herself. It's a ho! Hi! Farmers by your doors when you see the Jolly Roger on her giant is mighty shores. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Octave will remember this. As I try to visit her, because he wants to be there when the baby is laid, I guess. I don't know if he wants... I don't I don't know Koval Kosher. I don't know if he should be there when they're laid or when they're hatched. I guess he should be there for both. Right? That sounds right, right? Anyone? You okay. think I know your species is laid? I guess that would be good. I guess that would be good. Okay. Was, was that? No, it was not let the body hit the floor. Um, anyways. That, that, that's kind of the vibe I was getting. It was totally let the body hit the floor. <laughs> no, it was I can only count to four. I just watched that video yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, Penny's going to be going to Yelly. If you need her, she'll be there. Um, Isn't that where Paladin Dance is supposed to be going? Hey, would we you look no at that? Clue. We lost track of him. They're both heading to the capital. I wonder why. It's almost like it's the capital or something. We should head to the capital. What is the capital again? Yelly. L E L Y E L I. Well, how convenient. It seems we're traveling together more. I mean, you <laughs> might be busy. I mean, I we have things. We have things to do. Yeah. Because it's pretty far of a walk. I don't want Penny traveling by herself when she's pregnant. She's got Fenthris. I feel like you're, are you trying? I can't tell if you're trying to put. We me. have the cart. So what is she? Uh, we have other things we have to be doing. But my wife. I respect. I know. I, I respect. I'll be fine. You go do what you have to do. I'll do what I have but to do. But paladin dance. You go do what you have to do. I'll be fine. Octa puts on a sad, cobalt face, like puffed cheeks and everything, big, like puppy dog eyes. Hmm. He just wants to protect. He protects, but he also attacks. Hang. He also snack. <laughs> he do. He do snack. Ura guy. This all started with Hawk Dog wanting to go fishing. Ura guy. Yes. Zell is watching you as he lays on Arlos's uh, shoulder. Just kind of chilling, relaxing there. Just eyes open, looking at you. 
I, I will I will wave my hands in front of Zell's eyes to make sure they're actually awake. He blinks a couple times. Just watches you with his eyeballs. Oh, Following your hand. Oh, no stairs. <laughs> <laughs> He's zealous talked out of his mind. <laughs> He's a small oh, child who was given <laughs> weed. He was he, and he, he, he rolled a two, right? <laughs> no. Was Zell the four? I thought Joy was the four. I was say, I thought Joy was the four. Wait. The other, the other two were Wait, are you asking age or level? No, the the role no, that the role that Oh Zell yeah, there. Zell was a two. Yeah, Zell is what like is three foot. Baby? Zell's three foot got a really bad role. Zell is is so far gone. <laughs> <laughs> he's He's Faux Garçon. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a name, honestly. Faux Garçon? Faux Garçon. Faux Garçon. Ferguson, get over here! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Zell can hear the voice of God now. Who's Ferguson? <laughs> he doesn't respond, he's just... <laughs> I must scream, but I have no... Wait, I have a mouth. I, I, just, I just look at Zell. Are you, uh, are you alright? He shrugs. I also offer some of his blood to her. Hey, try some of this, you might figure out how he's feeling. I, I will try the tea. Huh? He's not using tea. He's smoking a blunt. Oh, never mind. You mean the sea. He's no not smoking sea. the sea. I will say, uh, no thank you. I don't smoke. Fair enough. He will okay. go back to doing what he do. Um, okay, it's just blitzed out of his mind a little bit still. He's like, what the <laughs> fuck is happening? Kay, you're able I, to open I your eyes at least now. Me. You're still blitzed, but you can open your eyes now. Alina, can... you're able to pull your head up off the table as well. As you're... It's starting to fade a little bit. Good lord, she was knocked out on the table. Not knocked out. She's like... <laughs> she put her face down and closed her eyes, but she wasn't knocked out. Oh my God. Trust me, I, I I laid for like I half an hour with my eyes Joy closed. To see what she's doing. <laughs> you look at Joy, who's seemingly knocked out, not unconscious, just not there, and you just lift her head a little bit as it peels from the table, and you just see a big red smudge on the side of her face. <laughs> Before you slowly put her head back down, it's like okay. Night night. <laughs> night night. <laughs> we'll deal with that later. When I'm not high. <laughs> Unless of course you do something else. Uh but <laughs> okay. I was just like, what the fuck was in that tea? I don't I've never felt like this he kinda like lifts his hand well one hand while he's holding Charles and he's like, What the fuck? You know your hand's up in the air, but you don't feel your arm. You feel your hand, but not your arm. As, so long as you don't move it. <laughs> and after a little bit, you you know that you moved it there, but you don't remember that you moved it there. You're just looking at your hand. And his current intrusive thought is, I wonder if I can fly like this. I will pat Joy's head affectionately. Pet, pet. Peta, peta. Sure hope there's no one. <laughs> hmm. You know? It'd be pretty nice to have a bit more of this um, around every now and then. Benfish, no. Oh, come on, Penny. You, you're not gonna drink it. I'm gonna be drinking it. Fenthis? <laughs> fine, fine. I, I just look for a Fenthis. I have more. 
Are you back at the inn? I, oh, I thought I thought, I thought we were all I thought we were all back. Wasn't uh, I looking at Zell? Yeah, you you and Arlo's really? are walking together. Oh, I I forgot. Yeah. Also, Bob has taken all of Jeff's money. Damn, Bob's sweeping the table! Clean house. <laughs> We're so proud. I'm huh? a Bob chicken parent. Also, you admit it! Well, Bob's a chicken. He admit so that yes. he's the parent of a chicken. Yeah. Ah, well played. Ah, tough move, wise guy. <laughs> I take I'm I'm so out of it, I can't even form a coherent thought to communicate. You lift up your hand to try and sign something to someone? Forgetting that you have telepathy here? And you're just, like, staring with your hand up? And you forget what you were gonna say? And you're just looking at your hand, wondering what you were going to say until you forget that and you're just looking at your hand and not feeling your arm again. Or as well. Hmm. It's like when you're so tired and you're looking up at your ceiling and everything looks two-dimensional. Yes. Yep. Yes, it actually is. It's like time becomes melting, like fuzzy. Nothing is real. Time's a suggestion. No, everything's real. It's just time is a suggestion. Kinda. It's fun. It's weird. I'm I'm really enjoying my mental image of a high K trying to fly. No, <laughs> uh, don't. But he never but he doesn't successfully get into the air. He just kind of hops around. And he's just for, like, he he just has his arms out like, hop, hop, yeah. hop. The feathers everywhere. <laughs> wow. I just imagine Alina trying asking herself, whose hand is this? No, you know it's yours. You're not like completely out of it. It's just like, you don't really oh. feel things besides your face and what you're looking at. Oh, I yeah, the two of them did roll that one. First. So. Man, wouldn't it be funny if um oh if um Blanc and uh, what's her name walked down right now? <laughs> it's what's they name, Ray. Yeah, what's their name? Yeah, I I forgot what their name is. Ray. Ray. Yeah, Ray. As opposed to Doe. Fucking. <laughs> yeah, I can make multiple puns with their name. Sam, sometimes. Oh, yeah, let's have Ray show up. Okay. Sam, sometimes you make me violent. Uh, let me go get Ray. <laughs> UK, like, hopping around trying to fly with, like, Charles, like, clinging to his chest. That's not how it <laughs> works. <laughs> <laughs> This would probably not be great for, for Charles, who is mid-transforming back. <laughs> nah, it helps him. Okay, okay. Let's just see what we have here. <laughs> Are you two... They're a little, um... Mm. She lifts up Joy's head, sees the red stain. Looks at the table. Huh. Oh. Oh, that's how you make that. Huh. Smart kid. Puts her face back down. Hmm. Make sure they don't leave a mess. You got it. Yep, you, you've got it. Don't worry, I'm fine. Right like that? Let's go. <laughs> Isaac is still in air jail. Yes, I know you want help. No, I'm not bringing you down. 
You talk to your dad about it. What do you mean he can't understand you right now? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Whoever did that. You're welcome. Whatever. Okay. Well, have a uh, fun. Not paid enough to do this shit. They own the place. They don't. They're not paid enough. Uh, they own the damn place. <laughs> Again, they're not paid enough to do. I mean, it's not like we're causing problems. We're not bothering nobody. No, you're not. I feel like at some point, Octosh is watching the chicken take all this money. Taking some surprisingly very good winning at cards. All right. Um. Does anyone in the inn want to do anything? Tempted to challenge Bob later when we're not high as shit. <laughs> Money's on the chicken. The literal chicken. Alright. <laughs> if no one else wants to do anything. Um, Arlos and Uruguay, where are you walking right now? To the... Clothes store, right? Now we're going to soup. We're going to soup. Going? Oh yeah, you're going to soup. <laughs> we're going to soup. So, on your way to soup, Uragai, do you notice that are, there are a couple kids just crowded near an alleyway, saying, "Come on, quick, before before Dead Man's like wondering where we are." As they run off into the alley. What did they say? Uh, did Arlos notice or did it just me? Just you. Just me? Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to walk that way then. You're going to walk towards the alley? Yes. Okay. You hear the footsteps of kids in the distance just like running down the alley. As they turn a corner, and you just continue to follow. Arlos, do you follow Uragai? Uh, uh, sure. Okay. You follow Uragai. Zell's there. Um, kinda. Um, <laughs> and after like a minute of following where these kids had gone, you see them talking to a taller fellow in. A uh, large coat and a cloak covering their head. Uh, and they just seem to be discussing something, just looking for more food. And uh, the older man seems to pull out a loaf of bread from his cloak and slowly hands it to them with a gloved hand. Why would he... We see all this, right? Yep. You two see this. Zell is there. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Uh, hmm. Zell, is, Zell is just over here like Soka on cactus juice. <laughs> It'll quench ya. <laughs> it's the quenchiest. Hmm, um... Or do you want to do this stealthily, or you want to you want to go in guns and blazing? Um, I'll do this stealthily. Okay. All right, go ahead and roll me stealth, Arlos, with advantage, or disadvantage, disadvantage. What? <laughs> I, 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 I don't. Oh no. Okay. You're a guy? Alright. Just regular stealth check? Just or... regular stealth check. You aren't carrying anyone. Also, you're not high as fuck. Also, you're not high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. You both crouch down and start making your way down the alley. As 
Uragai, your turtle shell just kind of knocks over a trash can that makes a loud sound. And all the kids and the figure look at you, but they're at a dead end, so they can't really go anywhere. As they all start to panic and cover uh, the tall guy, the kids anyways, start to cover the taller guy. After they notice you. Arles realizes he is up. Hey, what are you doing? Leave us alone. We're hanging out with a friend. Mind your own business. It's a pretty tall friend you got there. He, what does he we want have a tall like friends. You? Why? We're not allowed to have tall friends? Well, I didn't say that. I mean, he might be a little too cool for you kids. Nah, we're too cool for you two. You what? Yeah, get out of here. Another one pipes up. I an argument with, the, with children. Anyway, what the devil are you doing? We're hanging with friends. Now leave us alone. I would like to see if they're aligned. Okay, roll an inside check. With disadvantage. Fuck. You're high, dude. I rolled on that 22, damn it. Damn. <laughs> Skill issue. Um, yeah, they're lying. Well, I mean, they're not lying, but they're leaving something out. Something tells me you want to tell me the full story here. I noticed that, uh, uh they gave you something. What, what's that about? He gave us some food! What of it? Oh. That's nice of them. Now what do they have you doing for them in order for you to receive such benefits? What does it matter to you? Huh? Uh... I'd like to make sure that you guys aren't doing anything you shouldn't be. Your kids and all. <laughs> uh-huh, and what are you doing that you shouldn't be doing? Huh? Honestly, I can give you about three things, but I don't think I'm going to, since you don't want to tell me what you're doing. Ha, huh, you're making it up. I bet he's making it up. Uh, yeah, you're making it up. Uh, right. Arlos was just ashes, blonde. Sure. Now, what exactly is going on here? You can tell me the easy way, or I can scare the shit out of you until you tell me. Rolling an intimidation check with disadvantage. Damn. You're not too scary. Yeah, it did have been scarier than you. What? No, sh shut up. The what the hell did you call him? N nothing. Mind your own business. Uh, I want. I want to. I want to look at Arlos. No, there's no reason for violence. As I'm slowly approaching them. Hey, stay back! Don't get closer! It's quite alright, as I'm still approaching. I, I'm telling you, we mean it! We're gonna throw some hands! Oh? Wait, what did he say? We're gonna throw some hands! Oh? I, I um... I'm trying to think if I can do this and not appear evil. Oh no, I've given Uragai more ammunition. Do we let him know what he's done in the past? <laughs> to children? <laughs> I, I'm not going to punch the kids, don't worry. Again. I, I want to hit the trash can next to me. In what way? Just like punch it? Yep. Okay, roll an attack. You, you clink off of the top of the trash can, and it just kind of rolls away from you into the wall. Of course. It's not going well for our image. <laughs> Look at him, he thinks he can throw a punch. Yeah, I can throw it one better than that. Shut up, Tom. I want, to, I want to punch the wall now. Roll an attack.
rolls in that one. You hit the wall. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Roll an intimidation check. With advantage. Okay. How do I roll with advantage again? It just rolls twice. Alright. Do you guys don't get the option to roll with advantage? Uh, I don't get the yeah. option for it, but you can toggle it at the top on the uh, Beyond 20 toggle thing. Yeah. It's a hassle. I'd rather not. Just right. click roll twice. Yeah, you know. And the other roll? Yep, it's rolling right now. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, we're not scared of you. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure you just made a mess in your pants. As, as there's a big hole in the wall from where I just put my fist through it. You watch as the taller individual places a hand on the kid's shoulder. The kid looks up to him and he just kind of slowly parts them aside. As he walks forward. I, I will then say, However, I am not here to fight. What could I am stealing? I, I, I apologize. Did you, did you speak up? I didn't hear you. What are your intentions here? Well, we saw a group of children run toward a unknown tall figure. I am the friend of these children. We take care of each other. Yet one of them called you a dead man. So you are a dead man walking. That doesn't sound rather safe. It's just a nickname. Hmm. A nickname, eh? Yes. Now tell me. How is it that you stumbled upon them? Oh, it doesn't matter. You know what? You're not wrong. But it piqued my interest. Roll a persuasion check. Is this at disadvantage as well? Mm, no. Alright. Fuck. I am a wanderer. I see many orphans. I, I just look back at Arlos. We picked up a couple of those as well. Just looking at Zell. That's true. So what's the difference between us? Um, I can't say that there's much of one. We were just wanting to make sure that the children weren't in danger. They aren't with me. We keep each other safe. Safe from what? Safe from those who would push them aside. Who would abandon them. Leave them to rot. So their parents. Parents. Folks on the street. People who are unempathetic. Uh, I want I want to ask him, uh, would you remove your hood, please? I cannot. As you, as you see, they're they're kind of hunching their head over so that their cloak is covering their eyes. 
and that they have a mask so that m as much as their face is covered at all times. That seems rather suspicious. Why would you need to cover your face? I'm not one to be seen. Um, I've probably seen worse. I just look back at Arlos. I don't think I could. And I look back at him. Wow. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> you know, there's always room for turtle soup at the damn inn, right? Dead man say what? Oh, you would know, wouldn't you? Your fault, wasn't it? You know what? Sure, it was my fault. Well, you understand the dead man's language. In a matter of speaking. <laughs> Did you say that in undead speak? Uh, no. I think there was a such thing. I think we came up with something for that, like really early on. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. But well, yeah. the kids seem strangely attached to you, but considering I have children of my own, it's just, call it parental instincts, just making you think you've been on a danger. Could you show us what's underneath the mask? I'd rather not. But I can just tell you, those who are abandoned tend to stay together. Yeah, leave dead men alone! Shut up, Charlie! I want to look, I want to look at the tall figure again. In what way were you abandoned? I was left on my own as a child, as an adult, and even now. What's past an adult? An elder? That's just an adult. <laughs> it's an older adult, an adultier <laughs> adult. I guess. Don't argue with my metaphors. <laughs> you hear that in your head, Arlos? Don't argue with my metaphors. Voice is back again. Oh no, what do I do? <laughs> hmm. As a stretch, oh. potter, take and hydrate. I've always wanted to try this. Uh, I would like to use my ring to add an S to hold persons. A well, whole person. Hold person? Yeah. So we'll just change, add an S in the person to make it persons. Didn't we say we're not going to allow that? We did? Yes, because that would be way too easy. Oh, I'm sorry. Fine, I'll just cast Hold Person on him. Okay. What's the save I'm looking for? 15. Okay. I'm trying to de-escalate the situation. I wouldn't try that again. 
Yeah, the other person we meet is so threatening. He doesn't say that as a threat. He just says it as a suggestion. I'm sorry if I came off as threatening. I did not mean to. Who did we lose? Um, no clue. Doc? Hello? <laughs> we lost Doc. No, Sammy, you're here. You're here, Sammy. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Sammy, Doc, no. Here. Doc, no. What happened? Doc! Doc! He's Doc. Come back. Doc, what? come back. You can blame it all on Arlo's. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, please come back. You can blame it all on Arlo's. This is a load of barnacles. I got you, Mordred. Everything, everything is exploding. Last oh no. Okay, fine. So say we do believe you, that you're some neighborhood protector in order to protect your kids. I'm How did you end up joining? A wanderer, sure. How did you end up with these two? Uh, it's a small group of kids, actually. Oh, I thought... It's not just two. two. It's not just... Well, I've said Tim, Charlie. There's a couple others. I don't have a name for all of them, but there's like seven Charlie, kids. Drake, Drake, Josh, Damien. Janet, Damien, <laughs> Billy, Billy, Dick, Barbara, somewhere too. Just sort of listing the cast Mandy. of Drake and Josh. <laughs> I don't. I was going through the. I was going through all the Robins. Yeah. I was going. I was just giving random names, and then you said Drake, and I was like Josh. Yeah, because I thought Tim Drake. Oh, Tim, yeah, and then I went with, uh, Dick. As in Dick and Grayson. And I got Damien, and I rounded it out. Yeah. Yeah, nice Anyways. Barbara. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, it's a small group of kids. Are they being charmed in any way? Oh, sh- Well, and I kind of check. You don't sense any sort of magic coming on them besides the ambient magic of the surroundings, which is normal. Better question Arlo's. Are they being threatened? Well, they seem to be on this guy's side 110%. So. What do you say, Turtle Man? I don't sense any ned to well happening here. He doesn't seem like a threat. I'm sorry about trying to put a spell on you earlier. Just wanted to make sure you weren't trying to go anywhere. It wouldn't have worked either way. Who uh. we lose? Is Doc it Doc again? Doc again? No. Yeah. There goes Doc again. There he goes. There, there he goes he again. <laughs> Uh, would you like to continue without Doc? Yes. Okay. Shit. Welcome back. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Welcome back. Reality is shattering around me. Oh no. Speak of the devil. Do you need to call it for the night? Uh, I'm fine. Whether my computer decides to stop having a stroke is another problem in itself. Oh, no. Let's hope it stops. Having a stroke, guys. But yeah. He just replied, It wouldn't have worked either way. Well, do you have some sort of immunity? Threaten it with a spiked baseball bat, Doc. Depends <laughs> on the type of magic. Hold person, for instance. 
That wouldn't work on someone like me. Are you not a person? Depends on who's asking. Hmm. Me? <laughs> me? Question mark? Roll a persuasion <laughs> check? I rolled twice, but the three is the correct one. Twenty. I'm not going to say any further, but would you two happen to be adventurers? How is it that you're going to refuse to answer our questions, but you want us to tell us to tell you everything about us? Mine is less personable. I also have like a little anime sweat drop. Eh. Hmm. That depends on who's asking. Be you man or beast? There is a group of undead outside of town. They reside within an abandoned church along the way. Would you be able to find someone who can take care of them? What's in it for us? Whatever resides within the church is yours. Healing from a holy house, huh? It is long since abandoned. Used as a place of sin and debauchery. Who was those church being used to worship? The cold judgment The Ice Monarch. Would we know who that is? Roll a religion check. Fuck. Alright. I, I will as well. Mm hmm. Oh, shit. Waiting for Ur, guys. Yeah. Okay. okay. You both would know, recognize this as a deity of law who is de definitely regarded throughout different parts of um, Basha. However, um, their um, verdicts tend to be a little... Their punishments tend to be quite a bit harsh for anyone who disobeys the law. And they tend to be pretty strict on cold as ice. to adherence. Oh, all right. Hmm. I'll see what we can do. I right. will bring the idea up to a few adventurers I know, and if they so choose to take it, then we might go and investigate. That would be appreciated. Here I can offer this. And he holds out his gloved arm. Uh, Palm facing hmm. down. Oh, I also have to hold his hand out, I guess? He drops something small. A little octagonal box. Use that to guide your way. Oh, Arlos will look heavily at the device, trying to figure out what the fuck it is. Like, 
You know how like you get like a strange little like toy or something, you're just trying to figure out how it works. Mm hmm but To no avail. It's just, it's just, Roll like, an investigation check. Okay. As you're investigating the object. Well. Okay, you can tell that this box has a hinge on it and that you can open it. Okay. okay. <laughs> so you open the box and inside there is a compass. The box is a compass. Roll me a nature check. Okay. Jesus. You can tell that this compass isn't pointing north. <laughs> Will this be a far journey? It shouldn't be. It is on. It is outside of the region of the radius of the town. But it shouldn't take longer than a day. Okay. If you are up Fair to enough. it, I recommend dealing with them swiftly. I don't want them coming to this town and causing harm. Those who can't protect themselves. And you watch as he kind of gestures over to the kids underneath his cloak. Not that the kids are underneath his cloak, just that he <laughs> is gesturing underneath his cloak towards the kids. <laughs> I was will look at Urgai and give him, like, give him a little nod. Did you uh, drop the cell off? Well, we would have to get everyone else as well. I'm not sure if they're uh, up for it. Uh, Alina, you're sitting at the table just counting your fingers. You've gotten up to four. <laughs> but you have to use two hands for that. That's a new record. <laughs> oh. K. How you doing, buddy? Uh... <laughs> flying lessons, you He gave up on trying to fly and sat back down. No, 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 I'm talking to Kay. Oh. I'm, just, I'm talking to Kay specifically. How you doing, Kay? <laughs> Is this like God trying to talk to Kay? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> Kay's just like, holy shit, not again. What <laughs> is going on? Uh, this is just just a check-in. I'm making sure you're okay. Is Charles okay? He's in your lap. You remember yeah, that, right? He's, yep. He's, okay. We're, he's good. Okay. Penny and Fredris are looking at you, confused. This as you're, is answering out loud. Yep. Yep, you're <laughs> answering out loud. Okay. Okay, that's good. Um, you gonna be fine? Need a little jolt awake, or you gonna be good? Someone remind me to draw a high K later. <laughs> uh, you, you didn't answer the question. Are you, you okay, K? Huh, uh, that's funny. Uh, I, why can I hear color? I don't understand. Well, just what wait happens? till you taste sound. It's delicious. Uh, but do you <laughs> need do you need me to snap you out of it, or are you gonna be fine? No, I'm good. I I think. And he kind of like. Oh. Flaps his wings for a second, and then he's like, what the fuck was that? Put your arms down. You feel a pat on your head before it just like, okay, you take care. Just relax. <laughs> okay, Dad. Arlos, Uruguay, how you guys doing? I'm doing great. Okay. Mm, doing all right, yeah. But yeah, you're discussing picking up everyone else. <laughs> What about this? I feel excluded. 
I thought you can't stand up. Yeah, but God didn't talk to me. Nor can Penny. Me. You're a little busy. Yeah, God give you the strength to not to not give you the strength to control myself. He's got the urge. Unfortunately, I cannot. All right, some someone may want to blind the kid for a little bit. Oh, no one's gonna see a thing. Although, okay. nice. Uh, just try to cover Penny's face with a book or something. Anyways! Um... Uh -huh. So, Arlos, Uruguay, you're talking about picking everyone up. Yeah. Uh... I don't think they're, uh, up for the task. Alright, all well, you and I both know we're on that floor in the ice cavern, right? Surely, we will do better with numbers. Yes, however, um, would you want to bring them in, in their current state? I'm sure they'll be fine by the time we get there. If not, we could have a rest before then. If you really want to go about this with just the two of us, we're going to have to prepare pretty damn well. We have no idea what the numbers are going to look like. And again, you could always go into the little super mode of yours. What mode? What? You don't remember a thing? Erega, you do remember going extra spiritual. Yes. You kind of felt like you were I, in a zen I, I, state. I know, but I just didn't understand. I, I just wouldn't understand him calling it via that. Mm -hmm. You mean when I ascended? Sure, whatever you want to call it. When you entered, you could say zen mode? Yes, zen mode. Anyway, we'll discuss this more back at the place. I'm pretty sure yes. we're taking up more of this gentleman's time. Will you be here when we come back? I'll be here as long as I'm needed. I'll hold you to it. I'm entrusting these kids to your seemingly capable hands. Do not disappoint me. It'll be bad for everyone. It'll be get, it'll get messy, and I don't like that. I will ensure their safety. I mark my word. <laughs> How much time has passed since we were talking to this guy? Um, since you started talking to this guy, about or, a minute like, to... Damn. Alright, back to the end we go, I guess. What says you are, guy? Yes. Let's go, let's go round up the troops. Or Fucking not. Mantis. <laughs> or how about in general? Yeah, I guess in general. Okay, so you two head back towards the inn, correct? Correct. Yes. Okay. You two enter, and you find your friends... ...finally counting all of her fingers... ...uh, and just nuzzling Charles. Penny and Octa don't seem to be moving much. As far as you can tell. In fact, uh, 
Fanfix even kind of flies over to you. Hey, how's it going? Uh, pretty good. Uh, nice. hope everyone wasn't too much of a trouble for you. Mm, nope, they were pretty good. Ones who gave me the most trouble were Penny and Akbad. Somehow I'm not surprised. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, I wouldn't <laughs> head that way, by the way. Okay. Trust me. Sure. I am sure. Oh, no, he was saying sure as in, okay. Mm-hmm. Ah. <laughs> uh... Hey, chicken, how, how are you faring? Up for a little bit of an adventure? Uh... You're breathing smoothly. I think I'm feeling a little better. Oh, Maybe. you are feeling good. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I'm totally doing A-okay, right, bro? Yeah. <laughs> What about you, Alina? You seem kind of busy over there. Counting? I also turn his head. Alina, you could speak tele telepathically now. Arctad, roll me a constitution saving throw. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. You're able to keep your voice down. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Just, you though. know. What'd you say, Doc? I said, what about Penny? Penny? Ha <laughs> ha! What about Penny? She's shaking. And like, kind of... Uh... Uh... Flinching, just slightly. Take it, not stay. Before calming down, just leaning word, back into you. I think the word you're looking for is twitching. Twitching, there we go, yes. Then she kind of like leans back into you, softly panting. Do not give drugs to the kobolds. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take any. Yeah, but I thought did. That was on you. Wait, no. I was tricked, to be fair. Yeah. It's whatever. Well, that was fun. It was something. She blushes. <laughs> they have a weirdly sweet, but a very uh, PG-13 M-rated. I'm not sure what the rating for that is. X. I think it's M. Oh, oh, that's well, weird. It. <laughs> yes. Well, I was going like, because like some movies could show stuff if it's rated R. Yeah, I know. I'll I shake my I head, just... trying to clear my head a bit more. Um, hmm. I'm sorry, I missed what you said. But I, I could just read. Jesus. That's, that's the glory of Mortridge. You can read what she said. Okay, you're able to clear the last bits of it away. You're not, like, 100%, but you're good enough to do whatever. Your eyes are still a little... Hmm. Well, that's fine. All 
Alrighty then. Um. Penny gets up and turns around. Atta, do you mind if I borrow your axe for a little bit? I was thinking about stuff I could do. You agree whatever you put in that. Let's refrain from giving it to the kids from now on. <laughs> My axe? I mean, sure, I can let you borrow it. Cool. I'm going to be in your room. I'm just going to do a couple adjustments that came to mind last night. <laughs> oh, okay. Alrighty then. I'll be back. Hey, Penny, Octa where are you going? gives her a little kiss. She returns it. Um, Penny? Penny, where are you going? Penny? Penny, that's sharp! Penny! Penny! <laughs> and... She said she was going to make some modifications. Penny, or Fenthers flies that. after Penny. After all, she needs her assistant. Runaway wagon! Oi, Salamander! Where you go kick some ass? I changed my mind. Wait, if they're doing that, who's gonna watch the kids? I changed my mind. I don't want to go in the room. <laughs> so, Could I just what's she doing? Got the smell. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh god, it smells here! <laughs> the wrong person. Uh, I'm sure Penny will watch the kids, I'm sure it'll be fine. Or Ray. Or Blanc. Also, wasn't Penny holding Luna? Here's what I hold my... Next question. Um... I think, you know, I think we forgot about that detail. So, before Penny runs Sam. off with the axe, she returns Luna. Okay, good talk. Um, anything, anything else you all would like that. to do? The thing is probably going to be done at the jewelers after we come back, I would assume. So, most likely. Yeah. Well, I'm good. What about you guys? We also need to go to the jeweler. I will check on Joy one more time to make sure she's at least breathing. <sighs> she's kind of just like <laughs> slowly do taking deep breaths, smudging the other side of her face. <laughs> As he's flipped. Survival at all costs. <laughs> this, should, this may awaken a drug addiction in one, one of the kids. <laughs> God, no! On her forehead, it kind of smudgely says, Nagra. Uh... I don't know what that would try to mean. Me On her temples, there's an A and an M. Oh, it says anagram. Oh. Uh. I think that, that went over our heads. It was too smart of a joke. <laughs> I gotta give the smart girl a smart joke. How smart she is yet. You don't know that. That's she exactly knows that. That's what I just said. Yeah, I know how smart she is. Where did she learn the word anagram? Don't underestimate her power. Oh, it's, more about where she, it's not so much about the power. It's Quick about answer. Where she obtained it. Yeah. 
Crow, you had a question. I did? You said quick question or great question? That's a good question. Oh, okay. She's my child, of course. She's smart. <clears throat> Let me check Alina's character sheet real quick. I'm just curious, you know, to see a certain stat or something that might, you know... I heard that sound. What? What? No, no, you... <laughs> I mean, what? What would she be smarter than you? Yes, but who who's really counting these things? You know, are any of our characters particularly intelligent? Because I know I have not like a twelve, so probably not. Uh, it doesn't help that only like two classes go off intelligence, so. Also, so Kaz is thirteen. What is the turtles? Her dad was 11. smarter than me for all you know. <laughs> uh oh, hiccups. So, Turtle? that child might be smarter than the entire party. She is. Definitely. <laughs> With a 16 intelligence. Yeah. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> she could be the strongest wizard or artificer she wants to be. God damn right. Or both, for all I, all I know. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Don't let, let your, your memes be deems. Actually, you you can know. You can look at Joy's character sheet. It's available to the party. Excuse me. You're excused. I'm getting tired. But yeah, if that's all, all of you would like to do for today, I feel like it's a good place to call it. Yeah, is Yeti awake? Did he fall asleep? I'm still here. Yeah. Oh, shit. I, was trying, I was trying to talk to you before you didn't answer me. Oh, my mic is muted. That's why I didn't realize it was muted because it kind of sounded like you replied to me. Well, damn. All right. Well, thank you everyone for showing up, for having some fun. First off, Fenthress, sorry to ask you to keep doing this, but please keep no, an eye on No, them. no, 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 please, please, no. <laughs> Fenthress, you can order anything off the menu and I'll buy it. Deal. Hey, I'll just make it infinitely worse to be like, oh, don't worry, I'll leave Isaac with you. No, no, not Isaac. He baps. Give him the sweater. Peek in his cape, Bear Gel. I didn't say I'd leave him out of the sweater. I mean, just kind of bundle him up. He'll be okay. Hey, mm -hmm. at least Joy's mostly out of it. John, give me the strongest thing you got. <laughs> and Isaac just tries to slowly reach a <laughs> like a, a clawed hand out and... <laughs> Fenthers is just sitting on the couch peacefully. You know, Isaac's over here stretching his leg down. Bap. <laughs> Dunking Fenthers in your drink. Okay. So, yeah. Would you all like to introduce yourselves one last time for the I'll make it even more worth her trouble <laughs> how so actually I'll introduce ourselves okay so I'm not the only one that heard that I'll introduce yourselves yes I heard that it's not an intro it's an outro so it's an outroduce exactly I understand but I did say introduce because you're going to be here for my podcast right Hey! I'm hey. <laughs> joking. I don't have one. Oh. Ah, uh, that. <laughs> I, I was actually in a podcast today. <laughs> I, I wonder. Was it the thieves then? No. Oh, that guy. Wait, the thieves then. Welcome to the thieves. Welcome to the thieves then, everybody. It's your hostess with the mostest, Sammy, the number one rogue. 
Let's go. No, I'm I was sorry. in someone else's uh, podcast. I'm pretty nice. But yeah. Whose yeah. podcast was it? It was Coldest Nights I've been podcast. Mordred Cannon. Catch me oh. tomorrow for well, I'm not sure yet. But it'll be at the same time as Al Wade. Always. At Al Wade. Just show up. She'll be doing something. <laughs> She'll be doing something tomorrow. <laughs> same time. Same Mordred same time. Point. Same Mordred channel. That's a reference to something. I can't think of what it is. Same back then. Same back then. No, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's like one of those old cartoon things, like same that that channel, same that that time. I mean, I think it might be like either Ducktales or Darkwing Duck. 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 Don't you mean chicken? Oh no, it's from Batman. It's from Batman. Same bat time, same bat channel. The Adam West Batman. Anyways, anyway. Mordred, who's next? I made a prediction. Tell me who's next. Yet he calls he's probably dying from lack of sleep. Damn it. I'm all good. Um, <laughs> I am a Yeti. I am a Yeti VTuber. I was playing Yeti. Motherfucker, I am playing Urga the Torch on Muck today. <laughs> I'm playing motherfucker. I'm playing the motherfucker. character of the campaign. No, no, because I said I'm playing Yeti and then I responded with motherfucker because I said it wrong. I'm playing Yeti motherfucker. <laughs> oh shit. Um tomorrow I'm probably gonna be playing more Lost Planet. And uh probably like 12 or something. I don't know. I haven't figured out time yet. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, Crow. Hello, everybody. My name is Cuban Crow for VT. You can find me on. You can find me everywhere under the same name, damn near. Um, heavily thinking about streaming probably sometime this week, probably towards the weekend, if I can stream. I haven't been feeling it lately. Sorry about that. But yeah, I play Arlos, I play motherfucking. Uh, <laughs> I play Arlos, I play motherfucking. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker, and now motherfucking. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. I'm gonna pass it to good old Doc. Doc already went, didn't he? He did? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Sam. I am a little out of it. Look, I took an edible. No, I didn't take an edible. You may be a little out of it. I'm trying to get a little in it. Ayo? Ayo. Ayo. Sam took some pesh tea. I didn't. I wish I did. Um. Anyway, I am the Pixel Doctor, aka the Docto, playing the Octod, aka the Octod. And, uh. Tomorrow I'll be streaming, probably Far Cry 3, because it's very fun and relaxing. Because it's just so, it's so easy. The definition of insanity. Until you have to hit the heal button. Well, you know, live and learn, I guess. Or until they get attacked by a shark, or an alligator, yeah. or a tiger. Again. Or a honey badger, wait, that's four. Resetting, resetting your hand, it's just fucking with me, man. It do, it don't bother me none. Fair enough. None, none of that stuff bothers me. Fair enough. You're a doctor for a reason. Shit. Yeah. So see me there. Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. I'm blowing up. Uh, go, Mikey. Thanks. I wrote on Cosmos Computer, aka Karen, and uh, you can find me on Twitter, Cosmos underscore Keeper. My art Twitter is also linked in the 
in my bio. And uh, I may stream after this playing League because I hate myself. I don't know. We'll see. You were just playing League. It's an addiction. That's a problem. I played a League match before we played D&D, by the way. I mean, your it's last stream was also a League. <laughs> it's a problem. I have issues. You know what? Yeah, I found the you know what can help fix your problem? Another problem, like Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, I no. don't know shit about Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. Yu -Gi -Oh I know. It's another problem. You can figure it out. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. You don't have money. Do don't do it. <laughs> no, the fuck. It's not Yeti. I just bought some Yu-Gi-Oh cards today. Wait, you buy Yu-Gi-Oh yeah. cards? Yeah. You I enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh. I also enjoy the Yu Gi Ho's. Uh, oh, wait, yeah. that's me! I'm a Yu Gi Ho! <laughs> Yo. True, if you buy Sam Card Game, she'll sleep with you. I stopped enjoying it after that last tournament. Everyone will be really sad after that listen. joke, I'm sorry. Why is it that you're <laughs> not <it>? wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, and I am Sammy. I am your du your god dungeon mother, fucker. If you fucking skill issue me, I am a skill issue. Well, that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm just. But yeah, thank you very much. So thank you everyone so much for coming to this latest episode of Adventures in Ferris. Same. Ferris. I too am an issue. Ferris. Ferris, um... <laughs> there was an adventure already. Yeah. There was... There was trauma. There was fighting. There was a death. A revival. There was, a... there was getting high. There was love. There was love. Maybe on the can battlefield. After stream, we can. something for it. Yeah, after stream, yeah. Huh? But yeah, thank you so much for joining everyone. I there was leaving Fenthress. And more booze. Mm -hmm. I picked last week, so someone else can pick. Um... Ono and Lee is playing Cult of the Lamb. Uh, let me look Shit, at how you spell that. Uh, I can spell it. O N A. Capital O. O N A. Uh, capital W Y N N. W Y. Ona Win Lee. Yeah. Cut of the Lamb. Gotcha. She Looks it's, cute. It's, it's Owl. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for showing Snow up. Owl. Remember, uh, we do have some raid messages. The first one is for followers. The second one is for subscribers. Um, so go ahead and uh, pick, out for, pick whichever one applies to you, and we will get this raid underway. She did my Zerua Bonk emote. <sighs> That's adorable. My, my dumbass was, just, was about to say, Sam's streaming, you should raid Sam. Damn, you right. <laughs> Hold on, Sam, don't get off a stream, we're gonna raid you real quick. From the siblings. We're gonna feed an infinite loop and break and break. <laughs> Twitch guidelines. So that way you become, you need to, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna become affiliate. Exactly. That's the plan. You know the plan. That the plan. The, you know the plan. The specific plan that we had thought of on Twitch. The, uh, yeah. Twitch plan. The plan. Yeah, that, yeah, <laughs> plan. yeah the, the, the plan. Yeah. The plan. Cusco. The plan to conquer Twitch. The plan specifically to kill Cusco. The plan. <laughs> that plan. Anyway. Yes, that okay. plan. You're K. Right. <laughs> yes, you I are K. I said oh, okay. Oh, K. I'm leaving. Okay. To, Good night, need everybody. Bullying. <laughs> you don't need anything, but you're going to get it anyway. Exactly. <laughs> and now I click stop stream.